Oh, hello there. I didn't see ya. Ooh, you suck! <laughs> okay. So if you haven't already and you would like to, please go down to the big red subscribe button down below and give that a little click for me if you love free weekly crochet content. Okay, we are done with that. I'm sorry, I have to do it every time. It's part of the job description. So this week we're going to be making this little top together. Yay! As if you haven't already seen it in my intro. But if you've been keeping up with my beginner series, then this is going to be a great first top to make because it's going to consist of just half double crochets and then chains as well. Okay, I'm done talking. I'm so sorry you had to listen to that intro. So let's just get right into the tutorial. I will see you all there. All right, so for today we are going to be using this Lion Brand Kobu yarn, which is half cotton and half bamboo. And this is a weight three. We will also need a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a darning needle, and a stitch marker if you have it. So before we get started, I just wanted to show you a prototype of what we will be making. This one is gonna be a little bit bigger than I am personally making today, but I wanted to show you nonetheless, just so you kind of see what we are gonna be creating. So we need to know one measurement before we get started. So first you will want to measure from your under bust to the middle of your nipple. So mine for example will be 2.5 inches which I'm going to label A. Then you want to subtract 0.25 inches from A. For me that's going to be 2.5 inches minus 0.25 inches to equal 2.25 inches and that will be my foundation chain measurement. And we're subtracting 0.25 just because we'll be adding an extra stitch at the end of our row to account for that extra length. So once you have that measurement, we'll move on to creating our slip knot. And if you don't know how to make a slip knot, I will link my beginner video in the corner where I go over how to make it. Then you're going to want to pop your hook and pull the slip knot tight. For me as a 34A small, I'm going to chain up 13. So if I wanted to measure this out, this would be 2.25 inches right here. So now we're going to be making half double crochets for our bra cups, which means I am going to hold on to that last chain that we made up there, and then I will chain up two more for our turning chain. Okay, so we're going to want to make our first half double crochet in that third chain from the hook, which is the one you should be holding on to. To do a half double crochet, you want to yarn over and then insert into the top loop only of that third chain. Okay, so three loops on your hook, then yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three. So we're gonna make one half double crochet in each of these chains going down. So I'm going to continue doing this and meet you guys back at the other end. Okay, so I'm on my very last chain right here. So I'll make one more half double crochet in that last chain. Alright, now it's time to start making that peak at the top here. So to create that, 
you'll make two half double crochets, a chain one, and two more half double crochets all in that same space right here. So I've already done one half double crochet, which means I'll make one more half double crochet in that same space for the first two. Okay, then I'm going to chain up one, and I would recommend if you're a beginner to get a stitch marker and pop that on there. And I don't own stitch markers, so the safety pin will have to do for now. Uh, please don't try this at home. <laughs> All right, so now you want to create two more half double crochets in that same space right there. All right, so you can now see the peak being formed at the very top. Now, what you're gonna want to do is continue to make one half double crochet in each chain space on the other side of your foundation chain. So you just yarn over, insert into that very next stitch right there, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through all three. And we're just gonna continue doing this in every single chain space all the way down. And when you're doing this, you're going to end up with one more stitch on both sides than when you began. So for me, I had 13, 13 chains starting out, but once I finish this first row, I will have 14 stitches on each side of my foundation chain. So I am going to finish this up real quick and I will meet you guys back at the very end. Okay, so we have one more stitch right here. So I'm gonna yarn over and insert into that very last stitch to make my last half double crochet. Now you may see this chain two at the end right here, but that is not going to count as a stitch for this project. So again, we're not gonna be making a stitch into that chain two space. So for me, I should now have 14 stitches on each side of my foundation chain, and that includes the two at the peak. So what you wanna do now is chain up two, and then flip your work. So again, this chain two is not counting as a stitch, which means we will make our first half double crochet in this very first stitch right here. So yarn over, insert into the very first stitch, and create that half double crochet. All right, so I'm gonna make one half double crochet in each of my stitches all the way down on this side. So as you can see, we've reached the peak right here, and we still have two stitches left before that chain one. So you really want to make sure to get into those last two stitches, and especially get into that very last stitch right there. It may be a little bit difficult to see. All right, I should have 14 stitches so far on this side. So what I'm gonna do now is take out this stitch marker. Okay, sorry about that jump cut. The stitch marker was difficult to get out. So as you can see, there's the chain one right here. So we're just gonna do the same thing that we did in the previous row, which means you're gonna do two half double crochets, a chain one, and two more half double crochets all in that same chain one space. So you will yarn over, insert into that chain one space, make your half double crochet, and that will be one. Then we will yarn over, insert back into that same space for our second half double crochet. Oops. Okay, then chain up one, and do two more half double crochets back in that very same space yet again. All right, so as you can see, we have the two half double crochets, 
the chain one and then two more half double crochets. Now if you want, you can continue putting that stitch marker in the chain one space, but I'm not going to because that's low key dangerous and I don't usually do that anyways. So now we're gonna make one half double crochet in each of these stitches down the other side. All right, so yarn over and insert into your next stitch. Again, you want to make sure that you're continuously counting how many stitches you have on each side to make sure that the pattern is correct. So I'm gonna continue with my half double crochets and meet you back at the end of this side. So I have one more stitch to make. So that is going to be my last half double crochet right in there. And your edges may look a little bumpy, but that's okay. So we should now have two more stitches on both sides than we did in our last row because we're adding four total stitches to the top. So I had 14 stitches in my last row on each side and in this row I will have 16 on each side. So row three is gonna be the same as row two, which means we'll chain up two and flip our work. And we're just gonna keep repeating row two until you are completely satisfied with the width of this bra cup. Okay, so I just finished my first bra cup and if I grab my tape measure, let's see, it's gonna be just a little bit over five inches across when I measure it about an inch above the base. And at the base, it is gonna be just about six inches long. Now for this project, these bra cups are definitely on the smaller side and I just continued my rows until I personally like the width. But if you're trying to make this for someone else with the same type of bra cup, I recommend finding out their breast width and then using that for the measurement of, their, of your base. So now I'm not sure if this will work for everyone, but that's kind of how I'm doing the math in my head right now. Let me know in the comments if this way has worked for you, I guess. I'm still figuring out how to pro properly do sizing because that shit is hard. Anyways, it's now time to start our bottom border. So I will stick my hook right back through where I was working and we'll be working half double crochets along this bottom side right here. So you're going to chain up two, maybe. And then we're gonna put two half double crochets in each of these half double crochet spaces. So I'll count this chain two as a stitch just right here, even though I normally wouldn't. And I'm placing my first half double crochet in that first half double crochet space. So this is our next half double crochet space right here, but you can kind of see there's two spaces, but it's really all the same half double crochet space. So I'll put one in this first kind of space that I see right here. And then I'll do one in this secondary space, I guess. All right, so we see our next space right here. We'll place one and then two. And these half double crochet spaces, again, look like they can, like they're multiple spaces, but this is one half double crochet space right here. So I'm just gonna continue to make two half double crochets in every half double crochet space all the way down. So once I get back down to the end, I'll show you what we're doing next. Oh, and I am also going to weave in this end right here as I go along. So if you don't see it again, it's because it's woven in. <laughs> Okay, so we're at the last half double crochet space right here. So I'm gonna make two more half double crochets in the very last space. All right, and we are done with that row of half double crochets for the border. But we're going to make one more row of half double crochets right here. So that means we will want to chain up two. And please don't pay any attention to that. <laughs> And then we're gonna flip our work, pretend that that's not there, and then make one half double crochet in the very first stitch. Okay, and we'll continue making one half double crochet in every other stitch all along this border. All right, so I'm gonna continue doing that, and once I'm done, I will meet you back at the end. So we're back at the end and I have one more stitch left. So we'll make our last half double crochet. Oops. 
All right, and then we are done with this bra cup. Beautiful. All right, so then we will chain up one and leave a bit of a tail to weave in later. Then you want to cut and then just pull it right through. And I would double knot this for extra security. Just a little, a little tip. All right, so this is what it should be looking like. So the next thing we are going to do is make this strap right here, which is just a chain. And this strap is gonna have to be long enough to crisscross across around your back. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna wanna find the top chain one and insert your hook, then grab your yarn, pull that through and make a knot. And definitely double knot this one because it is the strap and it's gonna have a lot of a lot of tension pulling on it. Then we'll stick our hook back in, grab our yarn through, and then we're just gonna chain up. So I'm gonna chain up 200 in total for mine. And it'll just start looking like this. So once I'm finished with this chain, I'll come back and show you how to finish this off. So once you're done with your chain, you're gonna wanna grab your scissors, cut, and then pull that right through and tighten it a little bit. So that is it for our actual bra cups. The last thing we need to do is to make a chain to tie in between our little bra cups to attach them. So let's grab our yarn again. And what we're gonna do is create a slip knot. All right, we'll pop our hook on there. And all you're gonna wanna do is just create a chain just like so. Okay, and once you've finished that, all you need to do is grab your scissors, give it a little cut, and pull through like we've been doing. So I have actually already made my chain right here, as you can see, and this is about 25 inches long, I believe. Okay guys, sorry for that jump cut there. Um, my camera cut off, which is always fun. So now, like I said, we are going to weave this chain in between our two bra cups to attach them together. So what I did first was I counted up eight stitches, not counting these half double crochet borders, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what I'm gonna do is place my hook, not in, not just in the stitch like this, but under this little third uh, strand of yarn as well. So we're going through that whole space. Then I will grab my chain and I'm gonna pull it from back to front for this one. Okay, so then you're gonna wanna find the opposite stitch over here the exact same stitch and we are gonna pull that from back to front as well. Okay, so now I'm just going to pull up so that they are even. And now we're gonna start crisscrossing just like this. So I'm gonna go probably just like two or three little stitches down and then grab the opposite one, pull it through, do the same thing on this side. Okay, and then I'm gonna do it just one more time. And this last time, we are gonna do it just on this very last space right here. We're not gonna go into any of the half double crochet spaces. So I'm just gonna insert it like right there. Okay, and then pull from back to front again. And then do it on the opposite side as well. Okay, so this is what it should be looking like just like this. Okay, so my storage space on my phone cut out once again. All I was gonna show you guys was just that uh, we tie it in the front just like so. 
and voila, that's gonna do it for the front ties. Now I'm just gonna flip it right over and we're gonna be working on the inside. So I'm gonna take just a strap on my whatever cut this is, right, right? I have to do that still to make sure it's right. Anyways, we're gonna take this strap and then I am going to weave it through. Again, we're not going through these two half double crochet rows right here. I'm gonna weave it through the very first stitch. So that's gonna be right here. And I'm gonna weave this again from back to front, okay? And then we will do the same thing on the opposite side. Okay, let's just kind of fix this up really quick. So this is gonna be your back tie. This is a super open top, super simple top too. Okay, very simple. Let's see. So it's gonna crisscross just like this around your back. This is a terrible view, but I am gonna insert right now some much better um, little, little videos right now. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed, just go down, give it a like, leave a comment, and please don't forget to subscribe. I make weekly crochet content over here on YouTube as well as on my blog, which I will link in the description down below. So go check that out for um, even more instructions for this top. And I have so many other patterns that I know you will love if you loved making this. Follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook for more daily crochet content. I post on Instagram the most, so that is the best way to find me. If you're looking for updates and inspiration, follow me there. <laughs> With that, I'm so tired from making this video that I think it's time to finally end it. I'm sorry if you guys wanted more of me. Just turn on those bell notifications and stay tuned for next week's video where we will be doing more fun crochet stuff. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Okay, that's it. That's my outro.